Hello everyone, uh, this is Aizada from the OpenCBS team and in this video I'd like to show you uh, how we can set up Teller Management and how we can do uh, operations with, uh, with Teller Management. So the first thing uh, to do here in the system, uh, when you start using OpenCBS, you need to create vault. And a vault is a safe deposit where the cash is stored. Cash is usually transferred from vault to till and back at the end, at, at the beginning and end of each day. So you need to go to vault and create a vault. So let's uh, say vault zero zero five. Specify the branch. Specify the account. And create, and then you need to go to the teller management and create a two. So a two is a cash register or drawer where cash is stored for easy counter operations. So we need to click on the create button, specify the two. Let's say till number six. Then specify the branch. Specify the account. Let's say this account. Okay. And we now we have created a vault and a till. We need to then we can need to go to the teller management and we see that this till uh, has appeared here. Then we need to click on open and specify the uh, person uh, a teller who will be responsible. So a teller is an employee operating at you. So we click this user and now we see. So now uh, we have uh, a user who will be operating this uh, tool and now we need to transfer uh, funds from wall. But we uh, let's say that in our wallet uh, there is no funds and we need to put some uh, some funds on our in our wallet. We need to go to the accounting and general ledger. Then we can create a transaction and specify uh, the account uh, for of our world. So let's say we use this account and specify the credit uh, the account which should be credited. Specify the amount which should be entered. Uh, you can add some description and click save. Okay, uh, we have uh, put funds in uh, to our vault. Now we can go back to the teller management and we can transfer uh, funds from vault. So usually uh, at the beginning of the day, uh, tellers transfer uh, funds from vault and then at the end of each day, they transfer back to vault. So now we need to transfer from vault. We need to specify which vault. So let's say this is the vault and specify the amount which needs to be transferred. Okay, let's say 100,000. And uh, you can add some description here. Click Submit. Now we have successfully transferred, and which it means that um, the teller manager uh, can do operations with, uh, uh, with customer's account. So we need to open it. We And we need to go to the uh, operation staff and here uh, the teller manager has four type of operation. The teller manager can deposit uh, money to current accounts, uh, withdraw money from current customers' current account, deposit to savings account, and uh, withdraw from savings account. Uh, so the teller management can do uh, operations, and all these four operations are the same. Let me show you an example. Let's say that the customer, we have a customer who would like to deposit funds to his current account. Here we need to specify the customer. Let's say this customer. Uh, we see that the current account is in account in USD, and this customer has uh, 70 uh, USD in his account. Now, let's say that the customer would like to uh, deposit 1,000. So, uh, you specify the amount here, then you can add description and specify the customer again, and click deposit. Okay. 
Um, so now the, it, it has been successfully deposited and we can, uh, once uh, the teller manager do operations uh, in the tab called information, uh, we can see uh, the list of operations which has been done uh, by this uh, teller. So then uh, we can go back to the teller. Let's say it's, uh, it's the end of the day and the uh, teller needs to tr transfer the funds uh, back to vault. So we click transfer to vault, specify the vault and specify the uh, amount. Let's say, uh, okay. Let's say that the teller has this much money inside a till and we can click submit. So now it has been uh, transferred to vault. So, and uh, in this video we uh, talked about creating vault, cr uh, creating till, and uh, we see how we can do different uh, operations with uh, till. Thank you for your attention.